But I have this hope. This hope is a hope, really. It's a theory, it's a dream, it's a wish, it's a prayer, it's a hope. That if that scenario is at all true when you die and you go to heaven, if St. Peter is actually at the gate and he meets you, I hope and believe the first thing he's going to ask is, Got a light? You mean y'all smoke here? Yeah, that's why it's heaven. These aren't clouds. This is cigarette smoke, buddy. Hell is non-smoking. You want to look down at them for a minute? Sure. I can't believe what they do to their bodies. It smells like an ashtray. I don't want to smell their secondary smoke while I'm trying to eat. Why would anyone do that to their bodies? God, how hellish. No shit. Light up and come on in. <laughs> Hendrix is on heart. Another great thing about, uh, about uh, Bush being gone, it ends 12 years of fundamentalist Christians in the fucking White House. Thank you, God. Finally, my prayer got through. I was on hold with that prayer for about eight years with fucking Reagan. God, help us. God, are you there? Surely this is a really bad fucking joke, God. This B actor, idiot, fucking illiterate, bozo looking fuck can't be the president of the country, can he? God, not really. Reach your hands down from the clouds and pinch my butt. Make sure I'm not dreaming! Finally, my prayer got through. Did y'all know that you want to hear something absolutely this is fascinating to me? This is absolutely fascinating. Fundamentalist Christians believe the world is 12,000 years old. Is that? Let's just think about that. Okay. Isn't that great? And I ask them, how do you think that? Why do you think the world's 12,000 years old? They go, well, we added up all the people born from Adam and Eve, added up their ages, roughly 12,000 years. Well, how scientific. Boom, I can't fucking argue with that kind of, you know, research. <laughs> you think the world's 12,000 years old? That's right. Okay, can I ask you a question? Sure. It's a one-word question. Fine. Dinosaur. <laughs> I mean, if the world's 12,000 years old and the Bible covers it, why didn't someone bring up fucking dinosaurs? <laughs> you think someone would have brought that up? Somewhere in the goddamn book. And Jesus and the disciples. I asked this guy, I said, come on, man, dinosaur fossils, what's the deal? He goes, God put those here to test our faith. I think God put you here to test my faith, dude. I think I figured this out. Does it, that's what this guy said. Does that bother anyone here, the idea that God might be fucking with our heads? have trouble sleeping restfully with that thought in their head? God's running around burying fossils. <laughs> we'll see who believes in me now. <laughs> I'm a prankster god. I am killing me. <laughs> you know, you die, you go to St. Peter. Did you believe in dinosaurs? Well, yeah, there's fossils everywhere. <laughs> What are you, an idiot? God was fucking with you. Giant flying lizard, you moron. That's one of God's easiest jokes. It seems so plausible. Ah! Bound for the lake of fire. You ever notice how people who believe in creationism look really unevolved? <laughs> Eyes real close together, big furry hands and feet. I believe God created me in one day. Yeah, it looks like he rushed it. <laughs> now we have women priests. What do y'all think of that? Women priests. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think that's fine, women priests, you know. So what? Now we got priests of both sexes I don't listen to. Fuck, I don't care. Exactly. Have one with three balls and eight titties. I don't fucking care, you know. Have a hermaphrodite one. I don't, I don't care. Have one with gills and a trunk. I might go to that service. I don't give a fuck, okay? While I appreciate your quaint traditions, superstitions, and, you know... I, on the other hand, am an evolved being who deals solely with the source of light which exists in all of us in our own minds. No middleman required. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate your little games and shit. And you're putting on the tie and going to church. Da, 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 da. Well, I you, politics does make for strange bedfellows. That's true, man. I read a quote in the paper two days after the election from Saddam Hussein. And uh, he said... Well, they had to wait two days to get a quote from him, you know. <laughs> They had to wait for him to quit gut laughing. <laughs> Some bunker in Baghdad, you know. Ah! <laughs> ah! The elephant is dead. <laughs> Saddam Hussein says in this quote, we have nothing against America. We just want to see George Bush beheaded and his head kicked down the road like a soccer ball. <laughs> I was thinking, that's so weird, because that's what I wanted to see. Wow, me and Hussein, we're like this. Who would have thunk it? He's a Hitler. You know, they find out, you know, Bush has been selling weapons to Iraq since whenever, and we knew that. I knew that during the Persian Gulf War. Those intelligence reports would come in. Iraq, incredible weapons, incredible weapons. How do y'all know that? Well, we looked at the receipt. But as soon as that check, I always used to get from bosses, Hicks, how come you're not working? I go, there's nothing to do. And they go, well, you pretend like you're working. Yeah, why don't you pretend I'm working? <laughs> you get paid more than me, you fantasize, buddy. Hell, pretend I'm mopping. Knock yourself out. I'll pretend they're buying stuff we can close up. Hey, I'm the boss, now you're fired. How's that for a fantasy, buddy? Does anyone remember this? When Yule Brenner died and came out with that commercial after he was dead? Does anyone remember that? I'm Yul Brenner and I'm dead now. What the fuck's this guy selling? <laughs> guy crawled through the earth to get a residual check here. I'm Yul Brenner and I'm dead now because I smoke cigarettes. It's pretty frightening, you know. But they could have done that with anybody. They could have done it with that Jim Fix guy just as easily. I'm Jim Fix and I'm dead now. I don't know how the fuck it happened. I jogged every day, ate nothing but tofu, swam 500 laps every morning. I'm dead. Yul Brenner drank, smoked, and got laid every night of his life. He's dead. Shit. Yul Brenner's chain smoking, drinking, 15 year old girl sitting on his cue ball noggin. Every don't try and talk for me, please. Just 